Uh, so... Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch. Felix. Oh, you I heard hate that Jack is in LA. I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. I'm not very good at the inter interrogations, in case you haven't noticed. Pretty cool customer. No. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Your partner? Oh, we need to phone. Phone de do de phone de do de And see what's going on at the station, I believe. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. W why are you so close? Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. Like, could you make this any more awkward? And now you take a step back? You're weird. You are fucking weird. Let's go. You can drive. Now let's go to the... ...police station to check out whatever it is... ...that we're supposed to check out. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. I guess he's got a point. Uh, the partner, I mean. Well, well, both of them have points. Uh, coming out of the war and trying to... Jack was a company sergeant. He would never... The cop from the newspaper. Why did you stop talking? How about coming out of the war and trying to get into... C can I not walk up the stairs? The fuck? Are you incapable of walking up the... There you go. The damn oh, retard. Keep moving, lover boy. The canary says he'll sing, but only if I guarantee you. So, walk. what exactly am I supposed to check out I here? I, said all fair in love and war. I have no idea. You drove me up to Mulholland, and we did some necking. Not over there. I'm going to memorize your name and throw my head away. Can we talk? Who am I supposed to talk to? Or or check? I don't remember anymore. I knew it wasn't I safe around here anymore. I mean you know you've made it if you got that death. My sister's always been lucky hmm. now, I'm, now I'm actually kinda lost. Lineup gallery, I don't think that's it. But only if I guarantee he walks. Uh I'm looking for Oh, you're I mean you know you've made it if you got that death. How many times are we going to say the yeah, same took a swipe at me. thing? Put him down with my sap. The canary says he'll sing. Uh, probably not technical services, so I'm going to go look up here. Like, I honestly cannot remember what I was supposed to be checking. And I doubt that it says it over here either. I was supposed... That post swipe at me to I said if you're robbery a burglary I'm Lana Turner Jack my sister's always been lucky when it who are you talking to I said if you're a producer then I'm Lana is it somewhere over here is it you I said we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence hey come come back here drink. I got the jitters no. again <laughs> So what next? Very funny. All your war buddies. How cozy. We need to go embrace Jack Kelso. But I need to check this. I want to get at least all the uh 
all the damn clues. Ah, fuck it, whatever. I recognize that guy from the papers. He's a cop. And no shit. You think those vice boys get any on the side? This is a cop station after all. You know? Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Nope, nope, nope. Round. Wrong way, wrong way. No, oh, I didn't find the place that I was supposed to go to. I don't, care. I don't actually I don't even remember what I was supposed to do. So, uh, fuck it. Guess we'll set our destination to the Jack Kelso's apartment. Come on, go into the car, please. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. He better be... Oh, there you are. I don't know why you went back in. So that was a... rather useless trip. Mm, I should have... should have went there first. Like, before the whole stuff with the shooting and, and whatnot. Oh, Kelso's apartment. He has a very big apartment. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. What, are you gonna run? How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. I guess he is constipated. A lot of cutscenes in this case. Oh, straight to the questions. Army surplus morphine. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Well, I, I, think, I think that I saw your name in the manifest. Jack, you know about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. I think he was going nowhere. He was in the manifest. He was in the manifest. I'm going to try this p because people always say that I always pick doubt. This time I'm not going to pick doubt or truth. Are you trying to kiss me? Ew. Fucking liar. I'm done with this. Of course. Ah, of course that doesn't... God damn it. Ex-Marine McGoldrick. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. I ha that has to be truth. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. All right, that r didn't really tell us anything. Arms stolen from Cool Ridge. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Well, this isn't telling much. And he's looking straight in into my eyes. I can't doubt or m prove that he's lying. Well, I don't know if I can prove, but... I saw Felix Alvaro today. Truth, again. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Wow. This is Cool Ridge robbery. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? 
What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. See, this is another point where I could probably try to prove that he's lying because of this. I mean, he was on the list. Let's see what it says. I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? I hope you have something to back that up. I do, but I'm not... I won't not... let you hide behind your rank any longer. He was there. I have this to prove it. You can tick me off. Or not, of, of course. Or not. I'm not involved. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Do you call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his two hundred dollar suit and two thousand dollar car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Duty, Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Like, how is that? Like, I proved that he was there. Ah, you, you drive. I'm too pissed. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Robert's Diner. Probably quite a few of them. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. What's with all the people running around like zombies? Oh, well, that was a better interrogation than the one before, since now I actually got two right. Just walked up and shot the man. Oh, a two chase. Of them officers I love these car chases. They're good. Go on, get after him.